Hello, I'm Nathan Lee, president of the Drama Club, and you are watching Tribal Review. Hey everyone, welcome to Tribal Review. The speech and debate team brought home more hardware from recent tournaments. Also, on the broadcast, we'll meet our new speech pathologist. All this and more coming up next. Come to Toscano's to get your pizza customized the way you want, served to you right from our wood fire stove. Let Renee and John treat you to a taste of Little Italy located at 312 South Hudson Street, Buckner, Missouri. Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time. Choose from a variety of fresh, great tasting foods and custards to be prepared by their friendly staff. Let Culver's welcome you to deliciousness. As Craig Culver has said, every guest who chooses Culver's leaves happy. Hey, Fort Osage High School, I'm Genesis Holler. November is National Gratitude Month. Practicing daily gratitude gives us a deeper connection to ourselves and the world around us. If everyone practiced daily gratitude, we could change ourselves and the planet for the better. And I'm Ashley Hupp. Today is Thursday, November 8th, 2018. And here are our school's top news stories. The speech and debate team has had a busy couple of weeks. Ten students earned honors at the Maryville Tournament on October 20. 7th, including Gabby Voifi's first place finish in dramatic interpretation and fourth place finish in poetry. Janice Boone took second in radio speaking and fifth in humorous interpretation. Novice Ke Keegan Maples captured fourth in dramatic interpretation and Novice Elena Bardner came in fourth in prose. At Lee Summit North Fall Face-Off Tournament on November 3rd, Devon Shields and Bobby Rose secured a fourth place trophy in a regular policy debate. Ms. Joy K Kane joined the high school staff this fall and served as the building speech pathologist. Tribal Review Dylan Gregory caught up with her to find out more about what she does for students. <laughs> Ms. Kane is one of our newest teachers here at Fort Osage High School. Ms. Kane believes that speech pathology is the right fit for her. When I was a senior in high school, I did several different observations, um, one in OT and PT and speech therapy, and speech really seemed to be the right fit. Speech pathology is the study and treatment of speech and language processing. Mr. Bedard believes that Ms. Kane is making an impact on his students. I'd say it's still early in the year, but she's definitely making an impact uh, on our speech and language kids and helping them get it done in the regular education setting. Ms. Kane has directed a total of 14 musicals. Mr. Farmer believes that having Ms. Kane helps with making a great special education team. Having a, a complete team, a special education team, helps us serve our students better. Ms. Kane is a great addition to our special education team. This is Dylan Gregory reporting for Tribal Review. Thanks Dylan. Coming up next we'll find out what it takes to be a student athletic trainer. We'll be right back after this break. Come to Tribal Perth. Open Monday through Friday in the Media Center between 4th and 5th hours or at the concession stands before school. They have everything ranging from 50 cents to $1.50. Want flavor? They have tea, hot chocolate, coffee, and apple cider. It offers a small variety of exotic flavors. You'll enjoy your visit. Come to Tribal Perth. Welcome back. Select Physical Therapy provides a professional athletic trainer to help students with their injuries. Students interested in this field can serve as assistants to the trainer. Miana Wilson found out more about these student assistants. There are seven student trainers working with Donna Gilbert in select physical therapy this year. Kelly Copridge feels that you have to be prepared for anything. The hardest part would have to be when somebody gets hurt, you have to like react and not like panic so they won't panic, so you have to like be mature about it, you know? You have to stay calm. Basically, you just have to be reliable and be there all the time. Trainers attend all sports activities. 
Emilika Acevedo believes that the most difficult sport to deal with is football. Um, I'd say the most difficult sport would be football because that's an all-contact sport. When we got to take our kit everywhere and when we got to get injury eyes for the sports and after school and all the kids decide to go in the trainer's room at one time. Trainers become involved in the field to help better their medical careers. Antoinette McKenzie finds training to be interesting and helpful for her education. I love being a trainer because I like when people come in with like bloody cuts and things like that and I get to help clean it. I became a trainer because after high school, after I graduate from high school, I want to go to medical school and do something in that field. Student trainers help out with all sorts of sports injuries. Reporting for Tribal Review, I'm Miana Wilson. Thanks Miana. Sports is next with Dylan Gregory. Hey Dylan, it looks like football is still in the playoffs. Yes, they advanced to the district championship game with a big win over William Chrisman. I'll have more details in sports at the other side of this break. Carinder Collision is an excellent place to get any dents, scratches, or total cars fixed like new in a timely manner. The Carinders take pride in all work with every car, every time. Get your car repaired at Carinder Collision, located at 440 East Monroe Street, Buckner, Missouri. Big Frog Custom T-shirts and more is the perfect place to celebrate your style. You can get apparel for friends, families, clubs, and businesses. Custom print your apparel and more at Big Frog, located at 9022 Northwest Skyview Avenue at Kansas City. Hey everybody, I'm Dylan Gregory with your Indian Sports Report. We start off with cross-country runner Brooklyn Cedarwild, senior qualified for the state tournament with a 17th place finish at the Class 4 Section 4 race on October 27th. Cedarwild finished 75th out of 169 runners in the Class 4 state meet at Oak Hills Golf Center in Jefferson City on November 3rd. The Indians football team notched yet another postseason win in their belts with 45-14 victory over William Christman in the Class 5 District 7 semifinal game. The Indians got things rolling early with two quick scores off of Chrisman miscues. Then it became a scoring frenzy for the offense and they opened up holes like this one for Blake Robertson who dashed for the third touchdown of the game. Dominic Myers caught this pass from Ty Baker that put the Indians up 28 to nothing in the first quarter. The line again opened up a lane as Brendan Br Gregory slipped through Bears to scamper for this 22-yard touchdown. The Indians will now host Belton in Class 5 District 7 Game Championship game Friday, November 9th. That's it for your Indian Sports Report. I'm Dylan Gregory. Genesis and Ashley will have more news after the break. TLC Automotive is an independent family owned auto repair and maintenance facility that provides vehicle inspections, oil changes, wheel alignment, engine repair, and much more. Open 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, closed Saturdays and Sundays. Giving straight answers that you can trust about your vehicle is what we do at TLC Automotive. Located at 22 East Walnut, Independence, Missouri, call Jim Carlson at 816-833-4411 to schedule an appointment. Welcome back. It's time for this week's Tom Tom Talk. Now that Halloween is behind us, we turn our focus to Thanksgiving. And with that comes Thanksgiving traditions. Travel Review's Daniel Horton brings us some of your favorite ones. I wanted to know your Thanksgiving traditions, so I asked you guys. And here were the results. Usually we go to my grandma's house and then we eat a whole bunch of food and then we go see a movie that, at AMC or something. Um, spend time with family, talk to them, say how they're doing in life and ex just say hello to my family. Uh, sit around all day, watch football and uh, eat Thanksgiving food like ham. Uh, sit around, eat, watch the Thanksgiving game, and yeah. I love Thanksgiving. My family comes over and I love the food, you know, turkey, also cranberry sauce. I love that. And green bean casserole.
casserole. Avoiding politics. That's fun. Every time someone starts, it's just like, shush, not today. We like dinner, like just helping my mom in the kitchen, um, just working with her, making pies and like making dressing and stuff. It's just, everyone always helps out. And so like, it's just tradition by now. So yeah, that's my favorite part. Well, after we have consumed the turkey, we sit around and vigorously st uh, plan for the catalyst event known as Black Friday. And then we go to Black Friday. My favorite family Thanksgiving tradition is usually when we all sit down and have a giant feast and afterwards we go Christmas shopping. My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is the fact that we go over to my aunt's house and we have the entire family on my mother's side come over and then we eat and have fun and sometimes my aunts give us gifts which is pretty neat out of nowhere but it's pretty neat. My Thanksgiving tradition is <clears throat> cooking dinner with my mom and saying what we are thankful for. I'm Point for Travel Review. I am Daniel Horn. Thanks, Daniel. I like when we're done with Thanksgiving dinner and we put up the Christmas tree. Ours is when we break the wishbone. Awesome. Four band members made the KC Metro All District Band on November 3rd. Clarinetist Emma Heidi, flutist Hannah Cavanaugh, um, flutist and piccolo player Jacob Crozier and drummer Riley Rexford all made the cut and will audition for the All-State Band on December 1st. This also marks the first time the school has had a drummer make the All-District Band. Bass clarinetist My Malia Gregory received honorable mention All-District. The A, B, and C Scholar Bowl teams travel to Hallsville on October 27th to match with with 24 other schools. The A team came in 13th with Trenton Kaisling as the top scorer. Well, that's it for this week's travel review. I'm Genesis Holler. And I'm Ashley Heff. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.